Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Spanko, and it's your boy Alpha. And today, oh baby, today is a regional. So yeah, usually I do the locals vlogs for Thursdays, but we have a regional today. So we're going to Toronto regionals. So in today's video, technically we can't be vlogging at the event, but we're walking there right now. And I was like, you know what? We can still do a little mini vlog and I'll tell you guys about my rounds. I'll tell you how it goes. Yeah, I guess if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. But also today we're playing Eldritch and Alpha's playing ABC, which is funny because I'm the ABC player, but he wanted to play ABC today. How do you feel about the deck? I don't know. No, it's Cheeks. It's absolute Cheeks. It's not Cheeks. It's literally not Cheeks. But I decided to play Branded Eldritch because I really just didn't want to think at the event. I just want to flip skill drains and rivalries and win. So yeah, in today's video, you guys can see the weather is beautiful. It's such a nice day. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to be going to the regionals. Going to see if we can link up with some people. I'll show you guys and I'll tell you guys what goes on at the regional. But again, I can't get too much footage in there because obviously it's a Konami event and I'll get in trouble. But yeah, I think it's going to be a good day. Yo, this place has a breakfast bar. How crazy is that? I'm going light today. We got our food. Yeah, we haven't actually signed up yet. So uh, we got to make it there fast and then sign up and then eat. If we didn't, if we don't make it, that's because we got breakfast. Yeah, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So what are we going to say? No to breakfast? All right, bye. I'll see you soon. All right, yo. There's the convention center. That's our location. And uh, welcome to Toronto if you've never been here before. Uh, this is Toronto. There's the Rogers Center. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. All right, so just before the event starts, I want to show you guys a quick deck profile of the, the cancer that I'm playing. So uh, let's get right into it. I'll be quick though. So we're playing two Golden Lord, three Eldland, three Sanguine. We're playing three Conquistador, two Quebequeros as well. I think this is the perfect ratios. I wanted to play three of this because it's actually really good in the format, but I thought about it, like going second, it doesn't do anything for you. So that's why I was like, uh, just one's good, or two is good enough. Uh, we have two Albaz, three Fusion, of course, the best engine right now in the game. Three Super Poly, and you guys might be wondering, why are you playing Super Poly in the main deck? Uh, and it doesn't hit a lot of decks outside of the Despia matchup, but I'm actually playing something really spicy that you guys are about to see. So I'm actually main decking Banshee in World. So my go-to play turn one is just to always brand infusion to send the Banshee and set up the zombie world. This ends like Sword Soul decks, it ends Flunder decks. This card is insane. And then it also makes every deck lose to Super Poly. And then I'm also playing one mind and one terraforming. I hate that I had to do it. Like I really hate that I had to do it, but I, I did it because like one mind is just too good in the format. And this just gives you the versatility of like, if I'm going second, I can go into mine instead, right? And then I'm playing two Prosp. I only have two, so don't roast me. Like, I would be playing three, but I only have the two. Three Skill Drain, of course. These are the floodgates, three rivalry, three goes in. These are really nice because they're also easy to side out against different matchups. You can put other floodgates, which you guys will see. And then you guys, you're playing three Ash, of course, and one call by the grave. So main deck is 40 cards. I don't wouldn't change this at all. Um, maybe three pros. You can de definitely get away with 41 if you're playing three pros. Otherwise, I think this is fine. And then for the extra deck here, we're playing, of course, two Mirror Jade, two Lubelion, three Albion, uh, one Titanic Cloud, one Masquerade. This is actually really spicy. Uh, two of these guys, this is what makes Zombie World insanely broken. You literally have a super poly target that's 3k every single time. One Draco, this card's insane. I mean, these cards are all insane. And then one Lina. Lina is really, really good in this format, and it's really easy to make with your Golden Lord. So uh, I wanted a Link Monster option as well, just in case, because there's a lot of decks that can like put up Ibli, or they can put up uh, Dark Angel, funny enough, uh, if you're playing Heroes, and Dark Angel just ruins you, so you really need this. And then for the side deck here, I'll just go in the side deck real quick. Three Lava Golem. I can't wait to be someone in time with this. Three of this. Three Token Collector, obvious. This is going to be really, really good this format, so I like this. Three anti-spell, of course, and then three, there can be the only one. This is going to be really good because against some decks, rivalry and or Gozen might not be that great. So that's why I sub, I sub these in instead. But also one thing I want to mention about the main deck is rivalry is really good wherever it is. Rivalry is really good because I'm playing Zombie World and rivalry Zombie World lock is insanely powerful. So that's it for the deck. So with that being said, just before we end this off real quick, if I'm looking to the side, it's because I'm looking to see if the regional is about to start because me and Alpha and Sam's actually here too. And we're all kind of like just waiting for it to start. So for that reason, what I'm gonna do real quick before we start up is I'm gonna open them up in packs, see if we can pull a Starlight Rare. People have been pulling Starlight, so they're in here somewhere. I'll be quick. Ooh, Ultra Rare. Oh, nice. Starting off with an Ultra. We got Super Rare. Let's go. Starlight right here, Starlight right here, right here, right here. No, not a Starlight. Oh my God, please don't be duds. I just want one Seeker Rare. No, we're playing a Starlight right here. This is, oh, this is super rare. No! No, my secret! Oh, okay. Two Ultras. Never mind, these are bad. But yeah, 
that's it for the deck profile and then uh, i'm gonna vlog as the event goes on so uh, i'll see you guys soon all right so we just finished round two um i'm gonna be honest not the best two rounds of my life but i will say that this is my first time playing the deck and i'll be real i'm playing like trash i'm also on like three hours of sleep but i'm playing like trash today so my round one ended up actually being against Salaman Great, which I could have 100% won that round, but my opponent was like playing for time so that we could stall it out. Because game one, I ended up losing. Game two, I was way ahead. I had three Floodgates. I had a Mirror Jade and a Golden Lord on board. Fully winning that game, but he just wanted to stall it out, play for time, and that was unlucky. So I ended up getting my draw round one. Round two, funny enough, uh, we just got clocked. I didn't see any of my branded engine. I went to the Prost twice, didn't see branded. It was just kind of unfortunate. We only saw the Elder Spells and Traps, and that's kind of like eh, iffy. So it was kind of unfortunate. My, I'm going to be real though, I'm going to win out the rest of the day, okay? We're X1-1 after two rounds, and I think X2-1 has the potential to top just because there's so many players today. So there might be a chance. So, but I'm just going to finish X1-1. That's it. I'm calling it right now. We're winning out the rest of the day. All right, so I hopped out for a second because I just want to talk to you guys about like what went down. So essentially, I ended up drawing again. And I was like, bro, there's no way. Like, I don't understand, like, how... I, okay, wait one second. All right, so that's a little bit better. So, yeah, I, I just don't understand how people can see Floodgates and Mirror Jade and whatever on their board. And they know they won't lose right away, so they don't scoop. So because of that, like, it ends up going to time always. And I'm not saying the deck is bad. I don't think the deck is bad at all. But, uh, yeah, it's really easy to play around because they'll just sit there, wait for you to go into time and then they'll just draw and they'll just be aiming for the draw and it's kind of sad so yeah it's definitely kind of unfortunate uh I, yeah like i said i don't think the deck's bad per se i think i might want to test on it some more but yeah like i just dropped out the regional kind of sucks bro to drop out this early well it's not that early we're around six right now and uh yeah we, i literally my record was x one three so i had two wins one loss three ties and you can't top with three draws so three draws kind of sucks it's very very unfortunate um, but I'm happy. I'm gonna go trade around now. We have our binder. I have a couple binders actually. So we'll see what I can get and then maybe at the end of the vlog I can show you guys some of the cool things that I get at the regional because you always find neat, like neat stuff at the regional, right? So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try to make my money back because bro regionals are expensive now. I didn't put anything in my packs. So uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna go try and make some money, I guess. I don't know. All right, so we scrubbed out. We already know. Shout out Team Invoker. This is Kent, all right? You're X1 right now. Right now, yeah, I have to go. This is the Untouchable Squad. Holy Kent shit. has to go for his match. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Uh, there's a few of us at my top, so wish him good luck in the comments. Guys, I've had an epiphany. I've had an epiphany. I think I just need to get good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, so it might be really late at night and I might be in some pajamas, but we're home finally. And I just want to show you guys some of the pickups I got at the regional. I know, unfortunately, we didn't do as well as I thought we would, but it doesn't matter because you come home with nice, pretty cards and you're still excited. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff we got. All right, some of the cooler stuff. All right, so this is some of the nicer stuff that we got. So we got the Ghost Dark Arm Dragon, of course, here from Ghost from the Past 2. This card's absolutely stunning. We got an Ultimate Rare OTS Firewall Dragon. I like this one better than the Ghost Rare, so I went for this one. And then you guys can see here some Spanko Spice, some Yang Zing, some Tang Yi's, some Sword Souls. Yes, we actually are going to be playing this soon. I think this deck is insanely powerful. So I might be playing this. And then I picked up some stuff just for Edison format, so I grabbed these as well. But uh, yeah, we're picking up some decks deck profile stuff uh, we're picking up some ultis some ghosts for the collection we're picking up some not i'm gonna put this away because technically we're not supposed to pick that up but we picked that up at the regional too but yeah this is fun this is some of the cards i picked up at the regional and uh we're gonna have a lot of fun with this there's gonna be a lot of deck profiles this one specifically is coming up and yeah there's gonna be a ton of cool stuff all right so with that guys thank you all for watching i'm sorry today's vlog was a failure i'm gonna say right now it was a failure we didn't top but we will i promise it's going to happen i was just new on eldridge branded don't worry next regional is coming up soon we actually have back-to-backs coming up soon there's gonna be a lot of vlogs gonna be a lot of content i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe if you did thank you guys all for all the love and support you guys have been showing me thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that spanko side and out peace